Hello, this is Sal. Today we will be talking about uh, IP helper with addresses. Here we will configure DHCP server on router 1 to provide the network of cells on this side with IP addresses and the same with the HR network uh, PCs to, so they can obtain their IP addresses from router 1. But because uh, the PCs are in a different subnet, so we need a way that they can obtain their IP addresses from the DHCP server. Here we will configure the IP helper on router 2. But on router 1 we will configure two pools, one pool for sales department and the other pool for HR department. And both networks will get or obtain their IP addresses dynamically from uh, the DHCP uh, server we will configure on router 1. So now on router 1, enable configure terminal IP DHCP. Uh, let's exclude some addresses, IP addresses on the network of 192.168.1.1 to 192.168.1.10, excluding uh, 10 IP addresses on the network of 192.168.1.0. Now the SCP uh, pool, we want to name uh, the SCP pool. We want to name the pool of addresses for the sales department as sales. Now we have the options for the network. The network of 192.168.1.0 with slash 24 subnet mask and the default router for this network here is 192.168.1.1 and the DNS server we want it to be 8.8.8.8 for all the PCs in this uh, topology diagram. So now, because the DHCP server is in a different subnet, we will configure router 2 as the DHCP helper, but for now, let's configure the second uh, pool here, IP DHCP. Also, we'll exclude some IP addresses in the HR subnet or HR department of 172.16.1.1. Uh, let's make it also the same uh, 10 IP addresses. Now IP DHCP pool, we will name it for uh, the HR. Now IP uh, network. Our network is 172.16.1.0 with slash 24 subnet mask. The default router for this subnet is this IP address, this interface of 172.16.1.1. DNS server is uh, the same. We said we want the DNS server to be the same for all uh, hosts in this uh, diagram the poly diagram so now let's see what we did so far show run type include the hcp we can see here that the excluded addresses for the sales department from 192.161.1 and ip addresses here and ip addresses here we named the first pool sales and the second one hr so now uh, for the hosts here on this network, if we go to PC1, it is going to be easily obtain its IP address because it is the same subnet as the DHCP server. And we can see it obtained it of 192.168.1.11. And the same with the PC2. And also the same will happen with the PC3 because they are on the same subnet as the DHCP server, we configured it on router 1. But now, here with PCA, if it tries 
even after we configured the HTTP server for this network, but because it is in a different subnet, it will get the a PIPA IP address that it is not routable, and this PC here will not have, not be able to reach this subnet here to obtain its IP address dynamically from router one's uh, DHCP server. So now on router two, so we want the IP helper, uh, the IP helper addresses. Uh, first, we will what we will do is uh, enable here configure terminal. Now on the interface of gig01 here, this guy here, this is the gateway. So this gateway is, this is how these PCs, these hosts here, can reach the outside world. This is their gateway. So we want them to send a request here to this guy in order to get their IP addresses from router one. So on the, uh, this interface of gig01, now IP, helper addresses the option is IP destination where do you want them to get to from here to their next hop which is this interface on gig 0, zero the IP address of 10.1.1 so now we configure the SCP server on router 1 and the IP helper addresses in on router 2 or this uh, network of HR network but still when we go to PCA or uh, try to obtain its IP address and it's still not able to why because they don't we did not configure any sort of route between uh, this network here and this network here so what we will do for router 2, I configure uh, a static route. So IP route, we want from router 2 to reach this network because it is not directly connected to it, to router 2. This network here is not connected, so we will type as in the address of 192.168.1.0. Subnet mask and the next hub or its gateway, the gateway for the router is this interface of 10.1.1.1. And the same, it can get there, but uh, the traffic can get to this, but how to get back. So we need to configure the same IP uh, static route on router 1, configure the terminal. IP route. Also, uh, this network here, the HR network of 172.16.1.0 is not directly connected to router 1. So, 172.16.1.0 with the subnet mask of uh, 255.255.255.0. .255 and as for router 1, its next hub or its gateway is 10.1.1.2. 10.1.1.2. .1 .1 .1 the two. Exit. Now we will go to PCC here to see if it will be able to get on the IP address dynamically and sure enough it, it can. It got 172.16.1.14 and the PCB the same here and it can. And this guy here, because we tried it more than one time, and sure enough, it got the 172.16.1.13. Let's see if this PC here can ping uh, this PC of uh, 11, and this guy here 12, and this guy here 13. So let's try to see that. Ping 192.168. Dot one dot eleven yes it can and also the other PC uh, 
And sure enough, it can. So what we did so far here, or what we did in this, you know, I hope I explain it in a very easy way. So we configured one of the routers as a DHCP server. The DHCP server for two different subnets, one is connected directly to the router and one is in a different subnet, which is the HR subnet here. So we configured two pools, cells pool for this uh, network and the HR pool for this network and for the PCs or hosts in this network to obtain their IP addresses from the DHCP server we configured on router 1. We configured the IP helper address on router 2 here and then we configured, you can uh, maybe a dynamic uh, routing protocol like OSPF, uh, ERGRP, but I chose to use a static route between the two routers and things are uh, working nicely. We, even if we add more PCs here, they will be able to obtain their IP addresses directly from the DHCP server on router 1. I hope you learned uh, uh, something from this video. Please, if you like it, share it and subscribe to my channel and give me the thumb up and I will see you soon in uh, the next video. Wishing you all a nice day. Thank you for watching.